Welcome to another episode of Grub Masters. I'm John Deary, this is Carl Kugler, and today we're gonna to show you how to do something really simple, but tasty. Yeah, this is the old standby when using a pie iron, which is the toasted cheese sandwich. Toasted cheese. And we're living on the edge, so we're gonna put a slice of boiled ham on it as well. Man. So, you know, people actually call these, you know, grilled cheese makers a lot too, right? So this is just one of the very, one, of many things that you could do with this. Oh, there's you know, all kinds of things you could do from breakfast to lunch to dinner to dessert. You can make it in a pie iron. All right, so walk us through the process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our pie iron. It's hinged right there in the middle. We're gonna open that up and we're gonna give it a spray of just canola oil, cooking oil. Get both sides. We could have also used butter. Right. That would have worked as well. And that's gonna keep the bread from sticking, give us a nice release. Correct and brown it up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put a slice of bread right inside there. It's amazing how this is made to fit. So I've got my bread on either side and John, you're gonna hand me uh, some American cheese. Why don't we go with two slices? Two slices. Perfect. Just place that right down there. And then a slice of uh, boiled ham. Making a hot sandwich really doesn't get much simpler than this. Because these slices are a little uh, bigger than the slice of bread, I'm just going to take one, stick it in here, try to fold it over so it fits within the bread. Get it centered on that cheese. And now I'm just going to flip over that pie iron, lock it together with this hook on the handle. And we're good to go. That's it. So it's already made. And now we just need to cook it off. So we have a nice fire here that's been working for a while, for actually a few hours now. Um, you're going to want to have a nice bed of coals. And, um, you know, you're going to set that right down on the coals and literally on the coals. On the coals. So the heat will radi up, radiate up uh, onto the cast iron. It's going to spread out because there's all that mass there. And it's just going to it's going to make it golden brown and delicious. The key thing for us to do is to flip this over every minute or so. If we let it sit in there too long, we're going to have one black inside of, right. of a sandwich and the other side's going to be still just regular white bread. Uh, that pie iron, when it went on, was cold. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit longer to heat up that first side. As you get going, because this will only take about five minutes in total to make the entire sandwich, the next person, it won't take as long. It's going to take like two minutes, a minute each yep. side. Yep, absolutely. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to flip it over. It's better to be safe than sorry. And one of the great things is, especially if you're working with people that haven't camped much, maybe a, a, younger, a younger person, a child, what's the worst thing that can happen if we burn this? We, we start over again. You chuck it, it costs you a dollar, and um, you know, you're right back in the saddle with another one. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep doing this, flip it every minute or so. The key thing to do will be to check it. When you think it's close to be done, check it earlier than later. Yeah, so you could peek. It's not so much like an oven where you look at your turkey and all the hot air escape, right? I mean, it's just so confined. You take a peek, it's not ready, you put it back in another minute. And with the cast iron here, they're holding the heat anyways. Right, exactly. Another benefit of using a cast iron pie iron over an aluminum pie iron. Also, uh, it's not going to have a tendency to warp on those hot coals. Right, right. So let me give it another flip. Got a nice windy day today. It really doesn't matter because it's on that bed of coals and uh, it's sealed inside there. So the dust and the ash that's flowing around uh, because of the wind is not going to get at our sandwich. So why don't we uh, take a look at that? It's been about two minutes yeah. or so. We let's, flipped it a couple times. Let's take a quick peek. And look at that, you know, it really does, it surprises you how fast that cooks. That side, done. Take, close it up, flip it over again. Yeah, this thing's done. If anything. It's overdone. It's overdone <laughs> by probably about 20 seconds. It does not take long for these to get hot. And that was when, that was stone cold when it went in. Absolutely. And we're talking about two and a half minutes. Correct. Right? So. Oh, well, look at the cheese just squirted out the side there. Yeah. 
nice toasted cheese sandwich. Enjoy. That's good. It is very good. Sometimes it's the simple things. Cheese, ham, bread. And you know, the butter, imagine the butter on this instead of the oil. It'd probably taste even better. All right, so simple recipe. Took us literally two and a half minutes to cook it. It took us 30 seconds to prep it. And it cost us $15 for the tool to do it in. Got a campfire, you're golden. Easy, easy peasy. We'll see you next time.